Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Brock Purdy's imperfect year. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Brock Purdy talked about how the sting of the Super Bowl and his imperfections during the game. Essentially, he took credit for his part of the San Francisco 49ers losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of what they did in the game was good, but you had those moments and you had those lulls where Brock Purdy was not his best. And if it wasn't Christian from McCaffrey doing his thing, a lot of guys didn't show up and do their thing. Um, moving into this last year, essentially on the rookie deal, he has a lot to prove still. Even though he's been essentially one of the best quarterbacks and, and one of the best primetime performers, he still wants to feel like he has a lot to prove to the organization. From the standpoint of getting the OTAs together, you see him as the leader. You hear him as the vocal leader. You see him getting wide receivers together. You see him doing the uh, necessary drills, coming in early, staying late, being the first one at the uh, facility, literally doing all the little things and setting the tone for the rest of the team. I feel like Brock Purdy is going to take a step in the right direction, seeing that the San Francisco 49ers are loaded with talent at the wide receiver positions, and they possibly could be getting rid of Brandon Ayuk or either bringing in somebody else. This could bode well for not only his navigating of the rough waters when you're dealing with a contract dispute with players sitting out and stuff like this, but it could possibly help bring this team closer together. When you think of them rallying around him when he had his injury against the Philadelphia Eagles, they came back with a vengeance for Brock Purdy in a year or two. So you got to think, for what will the San Francisco 49ers do this offseason? That's going to set them apart from everybody else. They're going to be fast physical, and they're going to play tough through OTAs. They're going to essentially do the same thing through the regular season. And you see exactly how rough and physical essentially Trent Williams is. So you got to think, he's going to do that thing and set that tone for the entire offensive line. I think Brock Purdy is going to have a great season, better than he had last season, and he's going to really knock out a couple of goals that have been up for a while as far as the quarterback position go. Seeing how well he can win playoff games and see how well he can play regular season games, the kid is a model of consistency, and the San Francisco 49ers are going to benefit from every big part of that. Having a, a Kittle, having a, a, a Samuel, Debo Samuel, having an IU. Having so many different things, uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey, that puts you in a position where you have premium guys getting you from point A to point B. You don't have to have a boring series. You don't have to have a normal series where, you know, normal people can't catch this person. But you yourselves are in a position to grow and, and to build and to, to own the NFC West for some time. Yes, you got the Seahawks to worry about. Yes, you got the Rams to worry about. Yes, you got the Cardinals that are coming up. But until one of them beats you, you have the floor. You have essentially everybody's attention. So I expect fully for this team not to bounce back, but them to make strides towards being a better team. So when it's all said and done, you just got to ask yourself, how focused is this team? How much does this team want this? And Kyle Shanahan should be focused even more because of the mistakes he made in the Super Bowl. You got to think, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to make bad play calls. We can't do that every single season. That's the tough part about it. So... I feel like Brock Purdy and the company are going to excel. They are going to extend him, and he's going to have a great career. I feel like this kid is is pushed through a lot of pain, pushed through a lot of targets, pushed through a lot of things, and became the best possible player that he could become. He deserves his payday. The 49ers should pay him, and as long as they pay everybody else. And we'll see you on the very next video.